I can pull another one, but there's no prize. So, and this this is the guy who was backstage earlier. This is the researcher that is that is working in conjunction with the book. So look for the book. Okay. Thank you for the book. Got one more surprise. Okay, ladies. Come on out. This is what happens at special events. You, you know, people just kind of come and we enjoy the impromptuness of this. Um, these three ladies represent a company here in Detroit called Creepy and Cute Shop. They're going to tell a story, but the importance is that they made one of their dolls right here and presented it to George Romero just about eight weeks ago here in Detroit when he was here. So they get very emotional about talking about the, they were, he was actually the catalyst for the development of their company. And uh, I'm going to turn it over to Doreen, who's going to tell you a true to life clip that she learned from working with George on some of these things. Oh my God, I didn't think I would be nervous, but I'm nervous now. Yeah. So anyways, we were in um, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania and Evan City. And they were, um, they had the rededication of the chapel and all of the peeps um, from the Night of the Living Dead were there and they had the Q&A and um, Judith O'Day, Russ Streiner, Gary Schneider, John Russo. So all of them were there and they were all telling really great stories about the filming. And one of my favorite stories was Judith O'Day was talking about when they were filming the scene at the beginning of the film when she was running through the graveyard and she fell and she lost her shoe but she kept going with it and George and the crew kept filming it. And when they did the cut, she went over to George and she said, oh my God, I am so terribly sorry. I didn't mean to trip over that log. I didn't mean to trip over and lose my shoe. And I'm so sorry that I screwed up that whole scene. And George looked at her and said, it was beautiful. We're gonna keep it. And now that's what happened. And so the next time you watch the film, you'll see that and know that that was not a part of the scene, but it happened. Tell the other one. Tell the other one. Oh, okay. Tell the other one. All right. So uh, one more. Okay. So anyways, the brothers, the Strainer brothers were out the night before, and the, the car that you see also at the beginning um, is grandmother's car. And how um, Russ referred to his grandmother was she is the perfect Jewish doting grandmother. Mm -hmm. And they had literally smashed her car the night before and didn't tell her that they had smashed her car. And so that scene where you see him like fall and drop his glasses and then later on in the film, they had to actually switch the sides where they did the filming because the car had already been smashed. <laughs> and so while they're doing their debut film, grandmother's there, mother's there, the whole family's there, and that scene happens <laughs> and grandmother, you know, sees George with, or sees um, Russ with the tape on his glasses, and in the middle of the film, she literally stood up and went, oh my goodness, if you would have told me you broke your glasses, we would have gotten you a new pair before the filming. And so, <laughs> and they really did smash the car the night before. Let's give it up for Creepy and Cute. Thank you. Creepy and Cute.